we're going to go west which probably means we're going to wind up in New Mexico before it's over with. Ride along with us and uh, hopefully there'll be something that'll entertain you. Welcome to the Texas Panhandle. The Panhandle's a place that I've lived since 1963. Yeah, I'm old. And unless you're from the Panhandle, it's hard to see the draw to see what makes people come here, see what makes people stay. It's home. To most people traveling through, it's one of the most boring places. It's not as bad as Kansas. <laughs> It's not quite as bad as Kansas, but it's close. People around here say when you go riding, it's just miles and miles of nothing but miles and miles. So to do any interesting riding or any fun riding that I like to call it, especially on two wheels, you got to do a little bit of traveling. The roads around here are great for just letting go. Just, just enjoying the ride forgetting about all your troubles because for the most part they're straight as an arrow and you can see people coming a mile away so it doesn't require it doesn't require a hundred percent of your attention just to stay on the road and you get time to reflect and to sit back and enjoy the ride and enjoy what scenery there is although to most people there wouldn't be a whole lot of scenery you'll see just in a little bit what i'm talking about this road has a few curves on it. This is a short ditty that, that takes us across the lake up here. I mean, this road had a, you've seen a couple of curves in this one so far, but you know, for the most part, nah, it's just straight as an arrow. And the only place you really find curves on these farm to market roads, those are just straight as an arrow for sometimes a hundred miles or so. But for the most part, it's just straight line running. The only place you see curves is where there was some sort of a boundary dispute at one time. I don't think you're going to see any of those on this ride. There will be on other rides. But to get anywhere that I call fun for a biker, whatever you call yourself, you got to do a little bit of traveling. The east side of the Panhandle's got some decent roads over there. It has been hot lately. The temperatures in the Panhandle have been running over 100 degrees for a couple of weeks now. And it gets rough. You know, this is Texas. We expect it to get warm, especially in, in the last half of July and August. Our temperatures typically run 106, 107 degrees on what we call normal days. Yesterday, a cold front came through. Temperature the high yesterday, I think, was 84. Right now, it's, it's cool. Um, I'm thinking 75, 70, 75 degrees. It is cool, which makes for some really nice ride. If you had to pigeonhole this channel, it would go something like this. There are all kinds of bikers, riders, motorcycle enthusiasts, whatever you want to call yourself. And they fall into so many different categories. The one that this channel is designed for are the people that are traveling through the southwestern states and they don't want to take the interstates. Lots of times uh, there are so many of us that, that use those interstates to get to where we're going. Uh, and that's great, but too many times we miss those little gems that you find traveling back roads. Now true, the, most of the roads in this part of the country are flat, straight, boring. But some of them aren't. Those are the ones that we're going to try to find. Welcome to Mascaro, New Mexico. Several years ago, an artist whom I was told originated in Arizona came to Mascaro to enlist the help of some of the high school students to help paint the town. According to one of the residents I met after the first building was done, the whole town got into the act, and this is what happened. Sheriff's deputy I spoke with tells me that the faces that are painted on the murals are folks who live here, or have lived here in the past.
If you ever find yourself in Moscow, the headquarters restaurant is a great place to grab some eats. The menu is fairly short and mostly New Mexican cuisine. They've got some really good food in there. They don't serve alcohol, but have no fear. There's a functioning well, microbrewery. That took way right longer there. than I thought it would or that I'd planned on. However, <laughs> I met some really nice people. Uh, I was standing. You'll see the videos and some of the videos that I took of the individual buildings. But I was standing right here in the middle of this street. And I hadn't seen a car in a half hour. And the minute I walk out there in the street, here come about five of them. And then up driving up behind me was the sheriff. His name is Will Hayos. Real nice guy. Uh, I thought, well, here we go. By the way, he said that used to be the bank vault way back when. Anyway, I said, you know, of all the people to drive up when I'm jaywalking in the middle of a highway, he said, no, he said, I was just going to ask you that if you need me to, I can slow traffic down if you need to take pictures from the middle of the street. And I said, no, I'm good. I can do it from the, the side of the road over there, which is what I did the rest of the time. But we had a very interesting conversation. Super nice guy. Uh, was telling me a lot about the history of the town and some of the areas around here. Uh, super nice guy. And I was walking down to the end of the street. And in the video, you may see this little scooter keep driving back and forth. Uh, the scooter belongs to a lady named Dora. She lived in San Francisco for about 25 years. And I think she said she moved here five years ago or 10 years ago. Anyway, she bought her dad's house. She fixes that up. She's a super nice lady. We talked for probably 30 minutes. Of 91 dead dinosaurs. We're all fueled up. I'm ready to head to Las Vegas. We're in Springer, New Mexico right now, by the way. Sign says Mora this way. A lot of these old buildings that you're seeing around here are built back in the early 1800s. There's nothing but mud bricks. Like I said, this, this road here runs northward from Las Vegas, New Mexico. Las Vegas is right on I-25. But it runs north-south. From there, it goes through La Cueva, and then when we get to La Cueva, which is about 10 miles down the road, we'll take a right and go over to Mora. But this is just so cool. And the smell is just amazing. As far as the road surface goes, it's pretty nice. Yeah, there's some bumps in it, but and some dips and rises, but it's, it's not bad. It's nothing that's gonna, if you don't upset this big monster going around curves, you're not gonna upset, upset anything that, that actually handles. <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot of flack from that, from other Street Glide owners, but yeah. These aren't the best handling things. They are extremely flickable for such a big bite. And they will hold the line pretty good. But with the stock suspension on it, it tends to kind of wallow around in bumpy curves. I mean, if you're expecting it, it's not a big deal.
Welcome to La Cueva, folks. This started out in 1835 as a general store and a grist mill. It still stands today. Anyway, that is uh, La Cueva almost in its entirety. There is a cafe across the street over there, but it's not open now, and I really don't know the hours of it. That gate right there on the other side of the road leads down a little path. It's not very far to the old house that was that uh, the Morales family lived in. If you go down there, you might be conscious that there is a family living there, and they probably want their privacy. We were told by the caretaker at the store, the guy that takes care of the grounds uh, last year, that yes, we could go down there and look at it. Don't be gawking over the fence into the backyard. And you can walk around these cottonwood trees that are right over on the other side of these trees and get to the front and see the raspberry fields in the front of the house. And It's a pretty amazing house, uh, especially for as, as well as it's held up over the years. Definitely worth the trek. Anyway, this is La Cueva. Let's go on tomorrow. I'm hungry. It's about time for some burnt tacos. You'll be able to see the, the old grist mill when I come around here. That's it right there. Now the grist mill is locked up. You can't get in there anymore. I bet they're afraid that they let anybody in there fall in on them. But anyway, just for your information, if you turn left, you go to Las Vegas, New Mexico. If you turn right, as we are, you end up in Mora. And this road, there's the old grist mill again. And this road is just loads of fun. So, sit back and enjoy the ride. We'll be there in a short.